The show today features three artists who are all black women that were born and raised in the South. Bringing three black women together from the South, so the idea of migration. Either we were born and raised there or we spend time there. And then mirrored migration is a conversation about how we paint and elevate and talk about women in our communities and they're reflected in our works. And all of their work is in conversation with each other about what it means to be a black woman living and working in the South, and they each explore through their subjects how that journey through womanhood and the influence of place kind of affects and impacts who they are. There's a lot of similarities in terms of the work itself, and there's also a lot of connection, I think, to the diaspora. Latoya Hobbs is a printmaker and a painter. I focus on the black female body, sort of exploring the intersection between our ideologies about race, identity, and beauty, and how all of those things intersect and inform each other. Each of them uses subjects that they either know personally or subjects that I call kind of like distant cousins, folks that when you see them, there's a certain level of familiarity that you can connect with. I find it's more important to kind of have a connection with the women that I work with because it it comes out a lot stronger. Levy Olivia's work are folder collages, which are a play on the layered complexities of black womanhood. The yellow manila file folder contains all this information and layers and layers of one's life. That all come together to further explore and kind of unearth what it means to be a black woman and kind of things that we deal with internally. It's always about getting behind the veneer. All my work is about layer upon layer of identities. She also has seven pieces, which are monotypes on cast plaster. So this is a really cool technique that I've been working on for a while, and I'm glad to see I'm showing here. Jessica is primarily a painter. She uses subjects that you can see visibly are an extension of the African diaspora. Just the richness of her pieces are an extension of her place of birth. It's a really great turnout so far. I've gotten hugs from the artists, which is cool. I'm loving the opening so far here at Corridor. It's nice to be in the space with their work and their physical presence, so that's been really rewarding. And I'm happy to be in New York, but most definitely Brooklyn is one of my favorite cities, and anytime I show here, it's an honor.